What's up guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with The Long Dark. Now, I'm not going to be doing the Winter Mute no commentary like you saw last time. I had some feedback from some people who have been supporting my channel for a very long time, both my dad and On The Move. Shout out to both of you. Um, and pretty much, you know, I wanted to give The Long Dark its chance to tell its story, but I also realized some of you actually want to hear my voice. So, I appreciate it very much guys and I'm gonna jump right in we're gonna be doing survival mode so this isn't attached to the story mode at all but I just want to keep playing this game so we're gonna jump right in and where are we gonna start that is the question um, let's see Ash Canyon Timberwolf Mountain Black Rock Pleasant Valley is pretty tempting not gonna lie that sounds pretty good um, forlorn muskeg broken railroad mountain town mystery lake and hushed river valley let's start in pleasant valley why not why not give ourselves something nice and pleasant <clears throat> let's do it for advanced players oh god a challenging vast mountain wilderness region with a few key shelters originally settled by hardy homesteaders mm, maybe we won't maybe we won't What's Bleak Inlet? That doesn't sound good. Once homing, home to a thriving industrial cannery, seismic instability has cut Bleak Inlet off from the rest of the Great Barrier mainland. Inaccessible and in the heart of Timberwolf territory, exploring the Bleak Inlet is not for the faint of heart. The cannery industrial complex holds a useful treasure for those hardy enough to access it. Okay, that's that sounds... That has my interest peaked. Uh, we'll be male. We'll do male. And, okay, Sandbox 1. That's the name. I was going to make it exactly, but... I accidentally clicked, so. Mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought me down. Extraordinary people survive under the most terrible circumstances, and they become more extraordinary because of it. Robertson Davies. Well, thank you, Robertson Davies. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Okay, I'm in a cave. I have some supplies. Good. Fur firewood. Yeah, I hope nobody needs this anymore. That's, that's what my character just said. I'm going to go ahead and change some of the sound of this all right guys i changed the sound so that the music isn't insanely loud and also my guy the player character i am going to be does not even talk anymore because we don't need him to talk because i'm talking now guys okay i am the captain now all right let's go out here okay it's sunny which is good i mean it's better than it being dark and windy so let's go up here hell yeah we'll grab these mushrooms I think I can either eat these straight up. Yeah, okay. Large edible shelf mushroom found mainly on coniferous trees. Known for its antibiotic properties when ingested as a kind of tea. Well, you better believe I'm grabbing some of these then. Antibiotic properties sound like something, I mean, I hope I don't need, but I probably will end up needing. That's bigger than I thought it was. Or am I short? I thought that was a stump when I came up to it, and then I crouched and realized that that's just part of a tree. Okay, these are big trees. All right, let's try to get, yeah, let's get up here and get a look at the land here. Let's get a lay of this land. Okay, so it's like, like there's a frozen river or lake there. There's some more mushrooms down there. I don't want to load up on like an insane amount of stuff. Okay, there's a building over there, so <clears throat> I don't see any other buildings. So we're going to head that way. We're going to head that I don't have a compass, but... Yeah. Oh, shit. Backed off of it. Don't do that. Don't... You break your leg out here, you're kind of just shit out of luck. That's the bad thing. So, let's grab some more mushrooms, because why not? I got a long walk ahead of me. There's mushrooms here. They're made... Oh, shit. Is that just an elk that... Oh, wow. If I can harvest that meat, that's nice. <clears throat> let's go... Yeah, let's go get the elk. Hopefully, there's no wolves around. It could also just be... I mean, it's probably the kill of a wolf so they probably ate a lot of it but if I can get anything from it that could be beneficial before I start my journey here crow feather okay ravaged deer carcass carcass more than 50% frozen cannot use bare hands shit uh, yeah I don't have any what about what do I have that's a that's a good question oh wow a decent amount of stuff okay all this is all so let's go look at what I have on can I put anything else on no? Okay. So we have some worn thermal underwear. Great to have. Basic denim jeans. A worn plaid shirt. Worn driving gloves. Okay. Decent sports socks and worn work boots. 
So, a lot of worn things. We are freezing. There is a hypothermia risk. And I can't get inside this wolf right now. Or, not this wolf. This deer. So, let's head on out. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just going to be making my way to... The, I mean, in that direction. The direction of some kind of structure that hopefully I can take refuge in. I want to do it during daytime. Because if I'm cold now... Oh, shit. Was the ice... Oh, okay, the ice was actually cracking. I didn't realize the game had that in it, but be very careful. So don't run, just walk lightly. This seems pretty fucking frozen, though, to be fair. I don't... If I fall through that, I'm gonna be pissed. And I guess I might just have to be pissed, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the building we're going towards, or there's some kind of structure. I don't know if that's the cannery, or if it's just something else, but we're gonna find out. Okay. Keep our wits about us. Stay calm. Ignoring the fact that you are this cold is such a, like a task. Um, I spent some time in the mountains in Washington, and it gets very, very cold. So cold that like you feel it in your bones. I also spent some time in Wyoming, which gets even colder. And it is... All you can do to ignore how cold you are. I, I'm, I'm guessing I've never been like insanely hot. I've never been in like, t you know, like 130, like some some of these places get, you know, 140, like feels like, you know, and some I know like Middle Eastern countries have that. I don't know how hot Death Valley gets. But I know it gets pretty hot, but I've never dealt with like extreme extreme heat. Um, but I have dealt with extreme cold, and it is brutal. And the longer you're out in it, the I mean, the like, once you start to feel numb, that's when you're really concerned, because then you're like, okay, well, if I'm getting used to this, it's not going to be a good thing. Okay, washed out trailers. Okay, so we have a little place here. Maybe we can search and see what there is. Can I jump? I can't. And the, this is, seems completely destroyed. I don't know if I can even get in here. No, there's nothing in here for me anyway. It's just... This looks like a... Yeah, okay. Wow, not bad. Not bad. Okay, got a bench. I can go in here, so that's good. Requires hatchet to break down. No, I don't want to break down the bench. Not not just yet. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, it's warmer. That's already a plus. But I'm not going to be here long, because this place is far away from where I want to be, and the sun is just going to keep going down, and... It's not going to get any warmer, and it's already really cold, so I need to get there before sundown. Or it's going to get bad for me. Hell yeah, bedroll requires hunting. I don't want to break it down, I just want to take it. Maybe because it's an old bedroll I can't, but I'd love to take a regular bedroll. Chips and crunchy stuff. Valuable, valuable calories. Okay, got this book. Alright. Metal shelves. I can't even break down this, can I? No, I can, but I... No, I don't need it. I'll probably find some stuff on the way that I don't want to waste the calories. <clears throat> Let's grab these sticks over here. Stuff I can use to help, if needed, start a fire. I'd like to find some bigger pieces of firewood, but hey. I can't go in the porta potty All right. It's, I mean, it's it's a porta potty, so I, I doubt there's just like a crazy amount of stuff in there for me. But it would have been nice to let me go in. Maybe it's frozen shut. Who knows? It's definitely frozen shit, but maybe it's also frozen shut. Frostbite affliction. Shit. Yeah. Okay. We just got some mittens. Let's check these bad boys out. How are these mittens doing? Um, can I? Where do I go to see the mittens? Actions. Is there a way? That, okay, RB. There we go. I see it now. So this is warmer. Basically, pretty warm, but useless when wet. Not much use in the cold. Okay, let's pop these on. Why not? <clears throat> let's... I mean, we're just walking and picking basic stuff up right now, so... Why not? Now, don't walk on the ice if we can avoid it. No reason falling through the ice for no reason. Getting on my clothes soaking wet and dying out here of hypothermia. That would be the bad plan, but we're going to keep on keeping on and try to, okay, can't make it up that steep of a gradient, so we're going to have to go low. OK, 
Okay, let's head up this way, and we're just going to keep on heading in the approximate direction that we need to go. I mean, it seemed like a big structure. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to see it once I crest this ridge here. Alright, there we go. Okay, this has got to be, this is the cannery. I mean, yeah. If it's not, this is a crazy other building. And there's a bridge. Okay. Check this for mushrooms at the very least. Any mushrooms? No? Okay. Well, we made it. Look at that, the cannery. All right, so without further ado, let's start checking stuff out. Let's see what we got in here. Antiseptic, great. This is the kind of game that makes me want to check literally everything, and I'm going to miss stuff, guys, so you can, you can yell at me in the comments about it. Be sure to do that. Always yell at me in the comments. Gotta love it. Um, let's see. A lot of pallets here. I'm guessing I can break these down. Requires hatchet, yeah. That's a lot of wood, potentially, though, if it was like a good day and I had a hatchet. I'm having... I, I, I want to find enough food here that I can get to where I need to be as far as, like, sustainability. But wolves scared of flares. Well, thank you for that. But I mean, are there a bunch of wolves here at the cannery that I have to worry about? Because that's what I'm more concerned about. Can I open this door? No. Yeah, I mean, I know it goes to here, but I was just seeing. All right, we got a lot of de uh, a lot of birds, so something's probably dead. <clears throat> but let's kind of work our way in from the outside. We made it here, so now I can just kind of focus on... There we go, condensed milk. 750 calories. Keeps forever. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Take that. Take that for sure. That's a great find. Okay, we got beds here, so... This could be an option for staying. We'll, we'll see what the cannery has as well. Grape soda. All right. And imagine finding like a damn grape soda in a time like this and just being like, oh, hell yeah. Is there anything in these boxes? Uh, it gives me tinder plugs anyway, and it doesn't take long to break them down. So, and I can't really see in them very well. So I am just going to break them down real quick. Nope. Okay. But hey, we got some tinder out of it. <clears throat> Help me start a fire at least. All right, I can't take these. All this stuff's on the wall. What's in here? What's that? Whetstone. Ooh, whetstone used to sharpen blades. Very interesting. Okay. Nope. Let's search it a little, apparently. Okay, chair. What do we got here? A book. Use it for burning. Oh, another book. Yeah, okay. Work boots. Ooh, okay. So let's take a look at these books, see if there's anything I can learn from them. Basic sewing kit. Oh, that's a sewing kit. Okay, so that's not books. Sewing kits aren't books, guys. I know enough to know that. <laughs> Eventually, a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you're freezing. Yep, that's about how it goes. Decent work boots. Okay, yeah, let's, let's pop these on. Let's go over to my guy here and check out these work boots. So, yeah, plus three. Yeah, okay, these are a little better. And they're in better condition, so... We'll pop these on, just for now. I know that means that I just have a bunch of crappier clothes that I'm going to have as backups, but I'd rather have them as backups than just wear them now. If you find better stuff, you got to kind of use it. You don't know how long you're going to make it, but you got to make the most of what you have. <clears throat> That's the tricky part about survival situations like this. You're trying to prolong life and build sustainability, but in order to do that, you kind of have to use all your best stuff now, because if you don't, you're shit out of luck, because you're not going to make it. So, all right, let's search this place up real quick. It's an outside place, and it's still daytime, so I don't think I'm going to freeze to death necessarily, but it is very cold, and I am very... Hey, a wool scarf and spray paint. Need a pry bar to open up that one. But we got a wool scarf, and that is enough for me to be pretty excited about, so let's pop that bad boy on. Hell yeah, look at that. That's going to give me some good stuff. All right. <laughs> Keeping me warm. I need to find, like, a big coat or something. Oh, shit, yeah, backpack up there. Is there a jump button in this game that I'm missing? Shit. I'd love to search what's in that backpack, but I can't jump for some reason, so... 
It's just gone to the world, apparently. Search coal bin. I'd love some coal to help me with a fire. There we go. That's good stuff. Okay. Got a little boat dock here. The cannery. Uh-oh. Get a safe. Search safe. I need to know the combination. Well, maybe we can find it. Oh, no. A lost soul here. I'll take your sardines and anything you have. You won't be needing them anymore. Beef jerky. Thank you for your sacrifice. I appreciate the beef jerky. All right, let's go. It's fucking cold. And there are lots of birds around. What are you guys flying around looking at? There's something dead over here? <coughs> what do you want, birds? Oh. Maybe him? A little too frozen for you, though. Anything in his vehicle? Search glove box. Hey, a soda can. Always keeping soda in the glove box, of course. That's the best place to keep a soda. Also, as cold as it is, these sodas would be absolutely frozen and, like, busted open. Like, if it's this cold, yeah, you're, you're, you're shit out of luck. It's going to be way frozen. All right, and this is Briar House, okay? Little footprints in the snow. Show me where I've been, at least. Hopefully, it'll show me where other things have been. All right. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Search this stuff, see what I can find. Some cloth. Scrap metal and lantern fuel. Gotta love it. Lantern fuel is a great find. <clears throat> Hacksaw. There we go. I can break down some metal stuff with that. Now I just need a lantern. You know, lantern fuel is great and all, but... It only does so much without a lantern. It's still fuel, I guess, but... <clears throat> Alright. Oh, I can climb up this mountaineering rope. I see. And this is how I get to the second floor here. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> What if there's a mountaineering rope on the other side that I missed? This place is nice. Okay. I mean, if it was indoors, it would be better, but hey. Let's search these file cabinets, see what we got. Okay, not much there. Stack of papers, I like that. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay, that's a great find. That'll keep me nice and toasty. Sewing kit, alright, I mean, I'll take it. And repair, and another sewing kit, and another one, alright. So let's, let's go over here and just pop one of these on. Yeah, okay, now we're feeling a little warmer. I mean, it's still freezing cold. And we're just kind of constantly slowly dying, but hey. Let's search all these drawers just to be safe. But we have some freaking water here, which is great, and... The Technician's Notebook. What does it say? Rhea Compsat Canada. Wolves won't let up. I put a track to above to get above them, but they won't leave. Most food here is spoiled. Going to try to rig up something in that old cannery workshop, but I'm staring down a deep hole here, guys. Can only hope you reach me soon. Just leave this here in case it goes even worse. All right. We'll take that, because I could probably burn it, but... <clears throat> I mean, I don't need anything else. Okay, a boat with some supplies on it. I love it. The wolves might come at night if there's birds. Because they're showing them where stuff is. Marine flare. Marine flares are extra bright and loud. It may even ward off a timber wolf. Ooh. Good to know. Is that in my where where is that at as far as So I spray paint, open map, rock cache. Okay, so I can make rocks if I had enough rocks. I can do that. Make little markers of where I've been. Camp craft? No. Maybe I just have to go in my thing and equip it. It's probably in the light source up top, actually. Nuts and stuff. Quick flame. Is it up here? Yeah. Okay. So a flare and then a marine flare. Good to know. <clears throat> All right. What do we got back here? Any fish I can cook? Anything like that? What do we got? Doesn't look like much. Okay, and that's the back of the cannery, so we'll go in there, I guess. I'll climb up this ladder first, see if there's anything up here I can go in. Any mischief I can get, or I won't climb the ladder. Nope, I can't climb ladders, guys. I'm gonna die. 
If you're too stupid to climb ladders, you're not gonna make it very far in this this apocalypse. All right, let's head out. Let's go up here towards the can. What I'm guessing is the cannery main building, but who knows? Who knows? It's gonna get dark, and we gotta get inside somewhere. So, yep. Okay. So there's no inside inside on the cannery. It looks like, which does suck a bunch. Ah, Stacy's grape soda. All right. Are you Stacy? Do you own the soda company? You don't have anything for me, so... Oh, okay, and then you're empty as well. Well, at least you guys went together. What's that? Baseball cap? Interesting. Why would anyone wear one of these in winter? <laughs> hey, we'll take it. We might we might be feeling cocky one day. Put on our baseball cap. Go kill us a timber wolf. Who knows? Sprain rig. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's great. Okay. Last resort cannery. All right then. Let's go upstairs. See what there is to see. All right, some boxes. Locker. Okay, oh, a bandage, I'll take that. I will take this reclaimed wood. This book seems good. Yeah, you can break down, like, hatchet. Yeah, you can just break down stuff to use this, which I like. I mean, that's, that's cool, because that's, that's realistic. And I know there's obviously limitations to that, but the fact that they included an aspect like that is, is really neat to me. All right, what do we got here? Nothing I can do anything with. Nothing here. Let's walk across over to here. All right, so the only indoors place at this cannery, it, it, unless it might be back there. I don't know if I went all the way down there. It looks like it's that little trailer over there. So we'll check out what's here, and then we might head back to that. I am heavy. I'm very heavy, so I need to unload some stuff. So finding a little base of operations might not be a terrible idea, but I still want to carry all this stuff, so I'm, I'm going to. Can I walk across these? Oh, my health is doing very bad. Oh, I'm very sleepy. Oh, no. Well, I can't drop down from here or I'll break my fucking leg. Okay, we, but I gotta get somewhere. So maybe we'll go over here where it's less. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> well, I don't want to die. That would be bad. So we're going to pop in here and I'm just going to try to get warm. How warm is it in here? It's warmer, which is good. I'm very tired. We're gonna sleep. I have enough food and water. And my fatigue is getting pretty bad, so we're gonna sleep a good... Eight hours. We're just gonna get a full eight hours of sleep. Okay. Now that's gonna reduce my calories quite a bit, but it is warm in here, so I'm not gonna freeze to death overnight. There we go, so now I'm fully warm. I need water, though, pretty bad. But, fortunately, I have... Lots of things that I can use to replenish my thirst with. So, let's drink some soda here. It's not going to help as much as actual water would, so let's drink an actual water. Water potable, safe to drink. Okay, yeah, let's take a little sip of that. Let's get that up. Okay, so water's all the way up. Now, I did just run out of that water, so we'll keep that in mind. But I think I'm good everywhere else. So I'm, I'm hungry, but I think I can make it. It is dark now, so hopefully the wolves have not come here. But we're going to try to make it to that back area. I feel well rested. Not a super huge fan that... Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Not a super huge fan that my sleep schedule is to where I wake up when it's... Oh, fuck. That was not what I wanted to hear. So I need to make it back there, but I don't know how to get there. Because I, I can't get across this. So how do I get across this? Okay, that's attached. 
Is there a rope in here that I can climb? I need to get up here, clearly. Okay, it's very cold outside. My heat is dropping rapidly, so I'd like to not have that happen. Okay. Let's find out where I need to be. This is like a... And I can't jump, right? That's that's determined. We've determined I can't jump. Is that just a fact? I don't know. But it seems like I can't jump. So we're going to I'm going to look up if I can jump or not. All right. So I cannot jump. I cannot jump in this game, which is fine. That's fine. I understand making a game and wanting to have certain set rules and not wanting to have things broken, but I have got to get up there, and I think that this rope over here was probably my best chance. So we're going to do it. It is very cold. I don't want to be out here longer than I have to be, but I got to get I got to get into that, that cannery over there because I think that's going to be one of my saving graces here. I don't like that I'm doing this at night because I can't freaking see, but hey. Yeah, you live and you learn. So we're gonna, you know, this is a survival situation. We gotta survive. We gotta make hard choices. And I gotta get into there. So I just have a feeling that it's gonna be better than out here. Hopefully. So let's go. With, without further ado, my goal is to get in there. It is blistering cold. My heat is plummeting. So I have a sprain risk just due to how freaking cold it is, I'm guessing. At least it's warmer in here. I mean, there's no wind. I don't. I wouldn't call it warm, but it's very dark. Also, like it is as dark for me as it is for you. So, we're in the warehouse. We're gonna go across. We've all seen this. We've all done this. I'm overweight right now. I'm carrying too much, so I'm I'm encumbered a bit. But let's go. Let's go this way. I hear wolves, so I don't want to be down there with them necessarily I don't know where they are though it's not good hearing wolves and not seeing wolves I'd rather I'd rather see them oh shit almost fell don't fall when we've made it this far okay so we're, I'm, I'm very tired my vision sucks I hear the wolves again this is the part where I fell last time but I'd like to not fall this time I'd like to make it across okay I'm gonna have to do a little drop here it's a damn obstacle course just to get to the frickin' thing, okay? Okay, so now we get up here, and now I go this way, get on top of this trailer. What's this? Plastic container. Please have just, okay, decent wool scarf and a water... Wow, actually, yeah, great. Please have exactly that. That's awesome. I was gonna say something snarky, like, please have some, at least something decent or, like, a big thing that heats me up and makes me not tired, but... Honestly, food and water and a nice scarf is, is great. I'll take that. Hey, look at that. Okay. Last time I got thrown off before I could make it, but not this time. It's very hard to see. Just side note. I can't see shit. I see what you guys see. And I'm just proud. Emergency stim and antiseptic. Okay, what's that emergency stim do? Because I might need it now. Because I am, I feel like I'm fading fast here. What's it do? Emergency start ejection. Before a short burst of energy, you'll collapse from, then you'll collapse from exhaustion. Use it as a last resort. Okay, well, I don't think we're there yet. Hopefully not, but... Okay, I'm not doing well, though. I'm very tired and very cold. Oh, shit. It's starting to throw off my walking. Oh, no. My walking's getting, like, all janky. Can I make a fire? I have to make a fire or I'm gonna die, I think. Where can I put a fire? Where can I put a fire? Okay, well I gotta use the I gotta use the emergency stim, guys. We're we're to the point. Fatigue reduced. I can't see shit. I need light. Okay. We're moving and grooving. I gotta pick up whatever this was back here. Firewood, got it. This stuff, need it. Okay. Search this container. Okay, the stem is coming. We're gonna collapse after this, so we gotta go. I can't collapse out here. Or I will die. 
Oh, it's getting intense. These may be my final moments, guys, just trying to make it to the cannery. Will I have learned my lesson? Probably not. All right, we're out here. Oh, God, we made it. Okay. I need to make it inside before I collapse. Use the door code to unlock the door? Oh, God. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, so we have to use the door code to unlock the door. Well, that would have been cool to know beforehand. Because I think these might be my final moments. Oh, no. Okay, guys. Uh, if I pass out, I'll see you next time, but... Hopefully I can make it. Oh, Jesus. This is bad. Oh, a fire barrel. A fire barrel. At least I can start a fire. I, I can start a fire. Okay. I can start a fire. I can get warm here. Let's add to the fire. Yep, add fuel. Let's add these books. Some coal. Some reclaimed wood. I need this fire to last a while because I'm going to be here. Like, I'm going to probably have to sleep here, so... We're going to use most of my firewood here, and fortunately they have some extra here if I need it, but... I'm going to put down my bedroll and sleep by this fire, because I have to, I think. That's where we're at. Do I have a bedroll? I do. Good. Okay, let's pop this bad boy down right here by the fire. And there's a note there, so we'll read that in the morning, but I'm going to sleep... And I'm going to end that one here for the day. Oh, no, I don't have any calories. So I'm going to eat, is what I'm going to do. Uh, stale beef jerky, yeah, 350 calories. That's good. That's good stuff. And, yeah, this. This is going to do it. This is going to get me a lot. I need these calories. Smashing open, yeah. We got to do it. We got to do it. I don't have a can opener. A can opener would be cool. All right. Well, I'm going to sleep for six hours, and I will see you guys next time. So this has been the Long Dark Survival, and it has been a rough ride. So I hope you guys did like this one. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And, of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.